Hello everybody, today we'll discuss about the applications or use cases of wavelet transform. So the wavelet transform is a type of time frequency analysis. The time frequency analysis analyzes a non-stationary signal and indicate both the frequencies and the time at which those frequencies occur. And in wavelet transform, multi-resolution windowing is used to capture signals with good time and frequency resolution, something that's not possible with the Fourier transform, hence the need for a wavelet transform. If you want to learn more about wavelet transform in general, check the link in the description below. So in this video, we're going to use certain time files of interest, you know, that are good candidates for wavelet transform and apply the wavelet transform and see the results. So first is a water drop sound. As you can see on the left is a time trace of the signal, which only lasts for a very short duration of 0.5 seconds. You can listen to it. So on the right, we have this spectrograph, but the spectrograph only gives us information about what frequencies are present, but we're more interested in what frequencies are present at what time instant. So we can't do that with an FFT. I mean, we can do that, but we're not gonna get good time and frequency resolution at the same time we want at the same time. So here's the need for the wavelet transform. So now when we you know, put the wavelet transform here, so we can see that you know, on the y-axis, you have the frequency, on the x-axis, time, and the color represents the sound pressure. So you can clearly see what frequencies are present at what time with good time and frequency resolution. So this is a wavelet map of a water drop sound for 0.5 seconds. So next is the engine idling sound. Again, on the left, you have the time trace only for 0.5 seconds. You can listen to it. On the right, you have the spectrograph, but we intend to see, you know, good time and frequency resolutions. So we perform the wavelet transform and you can see that most of the you know, frequency is concentrated in the low frequency region for the entire duration. There are some high frequencies intermittently. The next is a car turn signal sound. You can listen to it. So it's just two clicks spaced like approximately 0.3 seconds apart. On the right, you can see the spectrograph. Now we intend to perform the wavelet transform and you can see the wavelet transform result clearly at what frequencies are present at what time instance. All right, so these were the three use cases of wavelet transform that I found interesting to share with. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.